Ranchlands is my family's company. We manage ranches across the West and they're all large scale operating um, livestock properties. And then in addition to the ranching business on each property, we look at other lines of business that we can develop to make the um, business more sustainable. And in many cases, that's hospitality and hunting and fishing operations and here at the Chico Basin, um, a leather shop. The leather shop is something that started as my dad's hobby um, back when he grew up on a very... Um, and it started just being a hobby for him. He'd carry around tools and um, when we got the lease on the Chico Basin in 1999, he created a leather shop. That was just a corner of a woodworking shop actually. And um, for the first couple years, it was really based out of necessity. We fixed and made our own tack for the ranches that we started running over the next few years. Um, and then Maddie came on board in 2014. 2014, yeah. And um, we formalized it a lot more and started creating designs and a website and um, offering products for sale at the Zapata Ranch, which we run for the Nature Conservancy in the San Luis Valley. And um, it's just been growing since then. So the leather shop today, uh, has a variety of products and kind of um, purposes for the ranch. So um, the shop actually promotes a lot of like the culture um, that we believe in in ranch lands and um, we facilitate a lot of learning. So if guests are here um, or if we have ranch staff or anything like that that need um, to repair their own tack, then we can still do that. But the products that we offer, um, we try to reach actually a broader audience. So not just people in the West, but people in town as well. So our products range from bags to belts, wallets, knife sheaths, um, and kind of all sorts of accessories in between, bracelets and that kind of thing. So the reason why I'm so drawn to Leathercraft and to this shop specifically is because of the greater reach that we can have. Mm -hmm. So Ranchlands um, is able to kind of share our story with more people that may or may not be interested in cattle um, or ranch management or conservation. Um, so that's what I really love about the shop is that it um, kind of allows us to bridge that gap between urban and rural communities. I do enjoy the design part and something that Tess and I try to do is pull from existing items and so you know we're sitting in in our saddle house right now and so that's where a lot of our inspiration actually comes from. The shop is connected to um, another part of the saddle house and so a lot of our designs can have elements that are inspired by um, saddles or bridles, you know, traditional western tech.